Is this the best way to keep your crypto seed phrase safe? Well, wait, this is the wrong thing. That's a piece of chocolate actually sent to me by crypto tag. This is the crypto tag Zeus. Is this the best thing? to store your seed phrase. Over the past year or so, I've had the opportunity to review a bunch of different seed phrase storage devices. That is a tongue twister. Try saying that 10 times fast. But I wanted to give you guys a video comparing and contrasting the different options that you will have in order to store your seed phrase. This is, if not the most important thing in protecting your crypto. Firstly, you wanna get it off of an exchange onto a hardware wallet and then on top of that, the hardware wallet, if it gets destroyed and you have it written down on a piece of paper, all of your assets are gone. So this is easily the most important thing. And these crypto seed freeze storage options are built to last. They're made out of titanium. Almost all of them I have used have been made out of some sort of titanium alloy. Now all of these seed freeze storage options that I will show you guys today have been tested in three ways. Heat testing, corrosion testing, and a crushing testing to make sure that they stand the test of times Anything that could happen to this product has been tested for in the case that, I don't know, life happens. So they want to make sure that these will last because the whole purpose of you buying a device like this is to protect your crypto seed phrase in the case that something that they tested happens. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you guys every single one of these seed phrase storage options that I have received over the past couple of months to year and i'll show you guys all of them and we can compare them now before i begin i want to say that i have some affiliate slash referral links in the description for these specific devices that does not mean that i'm going to be biased towards picking the best one basically i want to show you guys the options that you do have and there's going to be a best one for each individual person i'm not going to pick one device i'm not going to say the crypto tag is the best one buy this one i do really like this one i like the fact that they sent me a giant chocolate bar there's a leather case for it but this isn't for everyone. Some people might want a smaller device. Some people might want one that will blend into their surroundings, as well as there's ones that have lock holes that you can stick a lock through. There's ones that can fit in different size safes. So I want to just show you all of these options and then let you guys decide. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here they are. These are the seed phrase storage options that I have reviewed on my channel over the past year. Now you can see that each one of them, now that they're all together, are very different from the other. This one is the size of a credit card from Black Seed Inc. And it allows you to write on your seed phrase. It says subscribe to Chris right there. And then you have something like this plate, which is probably about 10 to 15 pounds, which for some people, this just might not be for them. But it is an option, and that is the great thing about all of these, is that they are so different, and it will meet everyone's needs when they wanna look for a option to store your seed phrase. Now, you'll see some other accessories here. I have a little pen here that I just showed for this. There's also some punchers, which you can see up here. And then there is this, which is actually something that goes on this cold bit steel. And it came with a bunch of, if I can open this, a bunch of letters where you can actually hammer on your seed phrase onto the device. But I'm gonna go through one by one. First, I'm gonna show you guys the price, which will be laid out on screen right now. So you guys can see what the prices of all these are going into it. And some of them do have accessories, like this came with a leather case that is purchased separately, which I won't include on the price of that. But we're gonna start at the top. This is the block plate 12. It has six words on the front and six on the back making it 12. The way that it is actually set up, it has the alphabet on both sides as well as numbers one through six on both sides, which leads you to believe that you could actually have words one through six here and six through or seven through 12 here, but that is not the case because they could very easily uh, match up. So this is only for 12 words. This is great if you obviously have a 12 word seed phrase and it uses the basic punch which is really easy to use all you need to do is get the first four letters because with the bip standard the first four letters will not repeat across any word so you punch it in here and then this is it and this is a great option you can pretty much store this anywhere it's pretty thin and it's very light the only downside is that the words are openly visible so if you live in an area where you think someone's going to take this from you and potentially take your crypto 
this might not be the option for you. Next, we're gonna go to the Crypto Tag Zeus, which came with this leather case. Now this one is interesting in the fact that it has two metal clips here, one on the top and one on the bottom. They're very strong and that keeps both of these plates together. The front and the back are exactly the same. But you open it up and this is familiar territory to pretty much what we just saw with the block plate and that there are 24 options on here to store your words. Now this one is a little bit different. It uses a number system to store each letter. And if you go on their website, you can actually figure out how that all works. So if you punch in a four and a nine and a zero, that could be an A for example. This is another great option. It is 12 words or 24, or you could do two 12 word seeds. And these little clips just slide right back on. This uses a punch as well. And just like that, now it is a more secure way to store it as the words are not openly visible so that no one else can see them. Moving on to the coin plate. This thing is massive and I actually have to unscrew it. So give me a second here. So this uses a T25 Torx bit and the screws are relatively short. They just grip through to the other side and it has a nice uh, indentation so that the screws can, can grip no problem. I would in any other situation say that this thing is overkill, but if you're trying to protect your seed phrase storage, I think this could survive a nuclear uh, bomb. It's ridiculous how heavy these are uh, and that's a good thing. So this is pretty much what you get when you open it up. It has 12 words on one slate and 24 on the other, making it 24, so 13 to 24. If you go through here, it actually has A through Z on each slot. So that's why this thing is so big. I mean, if you compare it to the size of my hand, it is a pretty large product, even comparing it to the size of this credit card sized one down here. Now, the neat thing about this is once you put it together, you can actually screw it into the wall or any sort of surface like that, which is why they have these two screws right here. So you could really secure this somewhere. If you don't want anyone to see it, if you can see that there is like drywall dust on this after you're done with it or any sort of tampering, you will know immediately just because of how massive this is and you knew exactly where you placed it. So let's set this one aside because that takes some work to get back together and we're just gonna kind of go down and over. Next, we have the cold bit hex. This is a more unique one. It's stored in a brass tube. So when you store it like this, if I can actually <laughs> get it in there, I mean, who's going to know that this is a crypto wallet? There's no marks on this. This just looks like a piece of metal. Now, the only issue is if there's someone cleaning up, they might actually think this is trash and throw it out. So that's something you got to be careful for. But you open it up. It says cold bit on both sides. So you know what it is. There's no mistaking it. And it's a hexagon. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. It's a tube of titanium. And it goes one through four, five through eight. 9 through 12, 13 through 16, 17 through 20, and 21 through 24. Now, the way you actually score onto this is with this cool tool here that was 3D printed and sent as part of the kit. And if you see these lines right here, this actually slides perfectly in this slot. Then you get your punch, you put it on the corresponding spot, and it has this huge viewfinder so you can kind of see what's going on. If there's a light shining in, you'd be able to see much better. And you use these punches to punch out your four letters. Moving on to the Black Seed Ink. This was a really cool device. I was actually looking to get my hands on this. This was the one I wanted to use as my seed phrase option. And I ended up using a different one on this. I'll let you guys guess. And then at the end, I'll show you guys which one I am using, but it's really easy. I mean, it comes with everything you'll need. It comes with these plates, a pin code, optional spot at the very bottom if you need to put that in there. And you just write on it like you were to write with a pencil, just a little bit harder. So if I were to draw a line, you guys can see how easy that shows up. And kind of the way I figured out how to do this is just to write once lightly and then go over it again, kind of scoring it into that metal. And it also came with this passphrase optional one. This was an additional cost. And this gives you the option to write a passphrase down as well as what wallet it's for. So these are really simple, really easy. And they also have two screws that they come with so they can mount together and be super small. I mean, look at how small it is. If you wanna hide this somewhere, these are a really good option. You can probably put it behind the felt in your safe and no one would ever know. Moving on to the Ellie Pal, this one is a more traditional one if you look up on Amazon for a seed phrase storage option. 
and it has these slots here. You have to take these four screws out and you lay each letter in here individually. They give you every letter you'll need. You will not have to worry about running out. And this can either be a 12 word, a 24, or it can be two 12s, any option like that. It closes really nice and it has this little latch here. You can put a lock here. You can put a lot of stuff in here to secure this and you will know when it's been tampered with. Next, we have the Crypto Numerous. This is the only one I have not made a video on. It has the option for 12 words or 24 words or two 12 words. Also has a spot on the back which punches through so you can actually screw this into something as well. That way no one sees what these are. You can even mount it underneath your desk. But the way that it works is you actually are given this massive sheet with all 2048 words. Each word translates to a number. So abandon is 0001. Then you would go on here, you take your punch, you'd put a 0001. Moving on, we have the keystone, which is very similar to the Ellie Pal. It has 12 options on this side, and I put RIPP here, and it has the additional 12 on these other side. And there are a ridiculous amount of screws in here in order to actually slide your letters in. It's nice, but when you're getting it set up, you're like, wow, this is a lot of screws. And this got a little bit bigger of a hole for a lock here, so you can put a more standard size, and it's very thin as well. Comparing it to the Ellie Pal, it's pretty much the same exact thickness. Moving on, we have this little guy. This is the smallest footprint out of any of the ones that I have reviewed, and this is called the One Key Key Tag. It's got a little, little slot so that you can actually put this on a key ring if you wanted to but I don't know why anyone would do that. And it's similar to all the other ones. You do have to punch your letters in here. There is a special way to do that. Next up is the cold bit steel. It had two screws holding it together, which are just flat heads. And it has two little uh, receiving ends on the other side. So you put the screws on the top. When you take it off the lid, these little marks actually stick up a little bit, so you'll get a perfect alignment when you put this back on. So this one has the option for 24 words as well as two 12 word seeds. You would pretty much just have to distinguish for yourself what you were doing with it. Also on the other side, because this plate is completely used, it tells you that the following information is optional but makes recovery easier. Stamp an X next to each feature or address type used. So you can choose the seed type that it has. It's either BIP39, Electrum, LND, or passphrase protection. You can use the address types you use, legacy, segwit, or native segwit, as well as if it's a multi-sig or Shamir share, and you can distinguish which number of the multi-sig this is. So this could be uh, two of two, this could be two of three, three of five. And this gives a bunch of flexibility for people that are looking for the multi-sig option. Any of these other ones really didn't give the option for that, which is nice. Next, we have the Crypto Steel capsule. It's encapsulated in this tube. And when you unscrew it, it's got a pretty long thread on it. Very long thread. It comes out and you have all of these little letters which are on each one of these little tabs here. They're separated by word with these little indentations which are additional plates that just slide on. And then once you're done, you put your stopper on here and bend it through so nothing can come out, even this can't come out. And you can shake these, they're not gonna go anywhere. You can put 12 words, 24 words, you can put as many words pretty much as you want on this if you want to store different types of phrases. So in this case, I think this has 24 words on here. And if you wanted to tor store two 12 word phrases, you'd pretty much just put like two or three uh, uh, blockers in here or separators so that you know that it's two different seed phrases. But it's really strong when you put it in here, when it's out of its capsule, it's it bends a little bit. Once you screw this back together though, this thing is a very solid piece of metal. As for this keyhole, I'm not really sure what would go in this. You can maybe put it on a keychain, or maybe if you want to put it on rope and hang it down a well. I don't know. People store their seed phrases in different weird places. So now you're probably asking which device I use, and that would be this Crypto Steel capsule. The only reason I use this one out of any other one out here, they're all really good options, is because this was the only one I could use and make a video on it and show it to you guys and still not expose my seed phrase. All of these other ones would very easily give away what my seed phrase is. And all of these are really great options. I don't wanna pick one for you guys, like I said in the beginning of the video. Each option is gonna be different for a different person, for their different needs. Like some someone might wanna put this 
with a lock on it, and this would be the perfect situation to do so. Someone else might wanna have a massive chunky plate that they screw into their wall, they can do that as well. Someone else might need to store this in a really small place, and you could use something like this. You could store it in your wallet. Don't know why anyone would do that. Or you could store this in your safe. You can pretty much store all of these anywhere you want, anywhere that's applicable to you, and that's the best thing about these. There are so many different kinds of storage options just as there are so many different kinds of hardware wallet options. If you guys have any questions about anything that I have covered in this video, please feel free to put it down in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer it. I hope this was a great all-in-one video to show you guys all the different options out there. And if you're interested, check out the links in the description to pick one up for yourself. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.